chlorophyll traps solar energy and that is used in ATP formation which is the energy currency of the cell. Now this is in accordance to the law of conservation of energy which states that energy neither can be created nor destroyed but it can change its form. See, light energy has been changed to chemical energy in the form of ATP. Now, this formation of ATP from the light energy is done in various steps. Now, let us find out the various steps. First, the chlorophyll present in the membrane of thylakoids absorb the solar energy and gets energized. Now, just like a black belt martial specialist concentrates all his energy in his hand to break the tiles from the, from the middle, similarly, the energized chlorophyll breaks down water molecules into hydroxyl ions and hydrogen ions. And this process is known as photolysis. That is the lysis or the breakdown of water in the presence of photons or light energy. So water breaks down to form hydrogen ions and hydroxyl ions. Now four hydroxyl ions come together and with the liberation of energized electrons or energy, they form four molecules of hydroxide and which forms two molecules of water and one molecule of oxygen that is utilized for breathing. Now energy in the form of electrons is used to bind an inorganic phosphate in the cells to adenosine diphosphate or ADP to form highly energized adenosine triphosphate or ATP which stores energy. Also these electrons along with the H plus ions which were liberated during the photolysis of water convert NADP which is another molecule present in the cell to NADPH which stores greater amount of energy than the ATP. In this chemical reaction, ATP and NADPH are formed in the cell using the highly energized electrons and H plus ion by photolysis, that is the breakdown of water in presence of light. Thus, this reaction is known as photochemical reaction. Now let us see the entire photochemical reaction. During the daytime, the chlorophyll present in the chloroplasts traps solar energy and gets energized. Now these energized chlorophyll breaks down water into hydrogen ions and hydroxyl ions. Now four hydroxyl ions liberate electrons and form four hydroxide molecules. These form two molecules of water and one molecule of oxygen which is required for breathing. Now cells have NADP and ADP. ADP combined with electrons and inorganic phosphate to form ATP. And electrons combined with NADP along with the hydrogen ions formed during the photolysis of water to form NADPH that stores even more amount of energy than ATP. This bright discovery in which 
light energy is converted to chemical energy in the form of ATP and NADPH was discovered by scientist Robert Hill. And so this reaction is known as the Hill reaction or the light reaction.